I'm in my new office. Hair. Brown eyes. And she was wearing dark pants. And <laughs> been your best friend after what he did to you. Just because he put that fire hot fire pole thingy, whatever it's called, <laughs> and touched me doesn't mean you had to kill him. Listen, he did way more than that. He did a bunch of bad things. But we shall not go into that right now because you have a date with possibly what could be jail for the rest of your life. That's the fine for kidnapping. And a $6,000 fine if you're talking money-wise in currency. $5,000. Yes. Yeah, $6,000. I know it's a lot of money, but that's what you get. You raise it up a thousand? Yeah, because you're complaining and protesting. <laughs> I don't think she'll much longer. She has a heart tumor and her systems are failing. But we need to save her! If she is dead, that means I stay in prison. What do you mean? It means we can never go around and go to the pizza place that we usually love. Don't you remember the taste of the crisp and the green? Mm. So, before we run out of time, get that blue thing over there. And press it like beep, 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 beep. and magically she'll beep. stitch her. I'm gonna stitch her up. And she should wake soon. Beep. You can stop that now. I to my trial. Please don't touch me. Those stitches are really recent. They're gonna come undone again. I'm gonna have a major bleed. What's happened? Well, a knife was thrown at me by this guy. I don't know what happened. Oh dear. Like, that sounds horrible. Yeah. I, I just need to rest right now. And maybe if I have enough rest, then maybe I can think about what I can do. I shall go make you some stale pie, my child. <laughs> so, are you okay? Yeah. My side still hurts, though. How long has it been? Six months? Seven months? Six. Okay. So hopefully she'll be getting her stuff soon. She'll be in here in five minutes. All right. I couldn't find any steel pie, my child, until I found a small biscuit. Thank you. I guess this should help since my digestive system is still here healing. Yes, I bet it should. That was delicious. Thank you. No problem. It's just tough, you know. Yes. If I help you, does this mean my time on my sentence will be going down for having no sentence at all? Well, I guess it could be diminished a little bit. Okay. I guess you won't have to pay a fine of $6,000 if you help with the hospital expenses. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to be talking with her about the description. Okay. What well, seems to be the trouble? Well, this is going to be secret house number two. We can't let anybody get this out. Right. So we have to describe the person who threw it, the knife thing, or whatever it was, right. to hurt her. So she has a mild wound. I think like a year ago, someone threw something. And I'm not sure if it's a guy. What if it could be a girl, a tall girl? True. We don't know that, so, any ideas? No, sir. Okay, so, the hair, I think, was blonde. Glasses, 
That's all I can remember. All and right. that she was small. Alright. Hmm? Alright. I think. So, I wanna check on her and see. Stay clear. Okay. Wait a minute. I need to go get Molly! Molly! We have to find her! She's not in the chair! We have to go find her then! Let's go! There you are! What the heck do you guys want? We were... Sick! <laughs> I don't know the word! You were not here! I was nervous! She was nervous! Sick! Where were you? I was cooped up, okay? It was not my fault! I need to stretch my legs for once in my life! Okay. Mm. Molly. Understandable. Keep her occupied. Understood, sir. Where is he going? He's somewhere. Okay. You know, it's, it's tough getting stabbed in the stomach, you know? Mm. It just really gives me nightmares at night. Ugh. I can barely sleep. Mm. How about you? You got any nightmares? Eh, I've dreamed about this triangle, dude. Hmm. Well, here you go. It's 10 o'clock. You need your sleep. Thanks a lot. I mean, what are you doing? You're part of the one. You're coming with me. Ah, you're coming with me. Ah, what? So you're the really threat right here. Why should I talk to you? You got me in jail, and I would have to pay $6,000. Why should I care? Because you could die from us. We could kill you. So? I'm not scared of you. Then how about let's raise the charge? $37,700,796. Try paying that off. It doesn't even exist. Wait here. I have to go talk to my other co-host. Lock the door! Well, I talked to my co-host, so she said that was a little too much money, even for a line. Ha! That made me get in jail. She is coming in like five seconds, she said, so she will be the one getting it. Listen, you will get fined, okay? Sure, not as much as what my other workers, as my partner said, but you're definitely going to get fined a lot. So? Money is a big deal in this country, okay? But I don't care about money. Well, then, you can just rot in jail. All I care about is the other people's deaths. Oh, well, that's good. Then you can kill people in prison. No, we're not going to let you do that. You know, you sound almost insane. I'm thinking about sending you to a mental institution. I am not insane. No, you sound very insane. Cat says no. I've dealt with people like you before, and I know what's right and what's wrong. Yeah, I agree with her. Bye bye, Birdie! Is my sentence done and over with? Well, I guess it is. I mean, but you do have to understand that some documents and forms will have to be filled once we get this matter over and done with. Yeah, the biggest thing was we found out what.